welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share my Diamond Eye Club Cyber Monday order. So I picked up two kits during their Cyber Monday release. They had a sale of buy one get one 50% off. So there were two that I was interested in. I'm trying to think back now if there were any more. I don't think I put any other ones from Cyber Monday on my wish list. I don't know, I found their Cyber Monday releases just to not really be my style. But um, the second one that I'm going to show you was one as soon as I saw it previewed, I knew that I wanted. And this one grew on me the more I looked at it. So let's jump in. The first kit is Flora from Sarah Mustafa. It is a round drill, 50.7 centimeter by 68.9 centimeter. Isn't she just so pretty? I don't know. When I first saw the artwork, I was like, eh, I don't know. And then I just kept going back and looking at it and decided that it is one that I wanted to add to my stash. I really enjoy Sarah Mustafa's artwork. I've worked on, I think, two kits from her. And I really love how they turned out, so I am collecting her artwork. But we have our little sticker. Mine goes on my box. You can put this in your logbook, anywhere you your little heart desires. <laughs> and then we have the instruction manual. There's also a coupon code in the back. And we have the large sticker, so pre-cut stickers for your uh lab for your labels <laughs> for your storage containers or baggies we have 56 colors with four ab's on this one isn't she just so pretty i don't know if this is supposed to be like fan art for anyone in particular or if it's just something that she came up with i think she's beautiful though and yeah i somehow managed between my black friday order and my cyber monday order to only get rounds which is totally fine with me. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy about that. I still do squares and I still like squares, but I feel like I get rounds done so much faster. In our toolkit, if I can get into it, oh my goodness, we have a yellow pen. We have a yellow squishy right there we have our wax we have the new white tray i don't know how i feel about this tray i like the sparkly one so much better <laughs> but maybe they were having issues or something with that tray there is a package of baggies in the bottom of that toolkit i just can't get them out we have a four placer and a seven placer our washi tape is actually really pretty Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Let me try to start it for you guys. It's very like autumnal floral pattern there. And then we have a really cute little flower cover minder. I haven't gotten this one yet. Pretty. Our color palette, as you can tell by the image, it's very colorful, lots of purples and blues. Looks like lots of like coral orangey colors as well. Some pinks, yellows, very pretty color palette. And like I mentioned, we do have four ABs. So the first one, I don't think I've ever had this AB before. It's so pretty. This is 111. Isn't that just a really beautiful color? I'm trying to get some of the special coating on so you guys can see. Isn't that so pretty though? I don't think I've ever had that color. And then we have 124, which is a really light pink. Well, I guess more like a medium bubblegum pink. We have a few of this 129, which is that pale yellow. And we have a pretty generous bag of 140. So the first AB again, which is this 111 color. I found that one throughout these really deep kind of like magenta flowers. Uh, I found this mixed in there, which I think will be really pretty. 124, the pale pink. 
not pale pink. I keep saying pale. I guess it's like, I don't know. I said like a bubblegum pink. That one I found in the streaks. So there's like pink streaks in her hair, which I think that'll be really pretty. 129, just a few of these yellow. This is a pale yellow. <laughs> and that one is, I found some in her hair. And then I also found some like kind of mixed into these little, I don't know, you can see like some little pale yellow spots. I found it there, not a lot. So they'll probably just be a handful on the canvas knowing how many extras Diamond Art Club sends, but I think it'll still be pretty. And then we have this bag of blue. And I found this anywhere you see this like medium blue shade throughout, that is this blue AB. So that is Flora from Sarah Mustafa. I think it's a super pretty kit. Now, the one thing that I think I would probably do myself is there's no white AB in this kit. And I think some of the whites like in her hair as like highlights, um, maybe her little stud earring here. I think I might add in some white ABs. I don't know. So it's it, the charting, the charted color is 3865, which is a very easy AB to find. Uh, so I think that that would really just add a little bit, but I have heard that these new rounds are very, very sparkly. So I'm wondering if maybe Diamond Art Club for, they know something we don't know, <laughs> that they're super sparkly and we don't need as many ABs. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Not quite sure when I'll get to this kit, but I feel like she'd be really pretty in like late spring with just the really pretty pastels and floral elements. I think that she would be fun to do then. So again, this is Flora from Sarah Mustafa. It is a 50.7 centimeter by 68.9 centimeter. I believe this kit is still available. I do have um, an affiliate link in my description that will take you over to Diamond Art Club. There is a code there if it's your first purchase through them. Um, never necessary, just thought I would point it out. It's not something I say all the time, but thought I would point it out if you are interested. Let's move on to the second piece. So the second kit here is a Puffy Gator, which I love Puffy Gator's artwork. This is actually the first one that I've purchased through Diamond Art Club. The other ones are on my wish list, but I have completed, I think, Two, I think there's been three that were released before this one, and two of them, I believe. Mm, one of them I've completed from another company. The other I have from another company, and the third one was really small, and it sold out quickly, so I didn't get my hands on it. All three are on my wish list to pick up eventually, but this one I knew I wanted. This was the one that piqued my interest in the Cyber Monday previews, and I think it's super pretty. Now, this is A Little Magic by Nana Key. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, on Instagram, they go by Puffy Gator. This is another round drill, 50.7 centimeters by 60.8 centimeters. And there is a little bit of the artwork. In this kit, we got the same instruction manual. We also got a small sticker as well as a large sticker. There's a little bit of a better look of this artwork. I'm excited to see how this comes out from Diamond Art Club. Uh, this is a, there are 42 colors and four ABs in this one. And for our tool kit, Ugh, let's see. All right, so we got that white tray again. They must be transitioning over to that tray from the glittery one, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Whoop, I dropped a four placer and a seven placer. <laughs> okay. So we have thin four and seven placers. I've also, I don't think I've seen this bright, this like deep purple pen combo. Oh my gosh. Yikes. <laughs> I have, not to get all like sad fishing, I have a massive headache, but I really need to stay on top of my filming 
because I'm posting every day this month. So sorry if my energy seems a little less than usual, but we have a bag of baggies, a little caddy with our two heart-shaped pink waxes, the white tray, and then I've never seen this cover binder before. So this is a really cool washi tape. You actually get quite a bit. It's, is it black? Yeah, it's black with gold foil. Very pretty. And look at this cover miner. Oh my gosh, it's a little cat holding a flower. That is so cute. I love that. That might be my favorite cover miner from Diamond Art Club. Here is our color palette. As you can expect, lots of purples, some blues and pinks couple of yellows. This is like, I can't do this type of color palette all the time, but when I do work on like this really deeper, darker with pops of color, color palette, what? Anyway, I, I really enjoy it. I think it, it comes together really well. I think all these colors just look so beautiful. So looking forward to that. And we also have four ABs for this kit. The first one is 119, which is this beautiful dark purple. I wonder if this is like 150 with an AB coating. 128, we have a pale pink. 129, that pale yellow again. And then we do have some 141 white in this kit. I love the white AB, it's so beautiful. All right, so for the purple 119, I found this in the around the eye area, as well as some on the nose and some around the ears. 128, the pink color. I found those in and around the same type of area. So the eyes, um, the nose, and also some around like the neck area as well as the whiskers for 129 the yellow found that again kind of where you see this yellow in the i don't know i guess there's still whiskers up there right and then i also found some down in these yellow kind of leaf things <laughs> and then the final ab 141 the white I found that wherever you see white, so up along the tip of the ear here, there's some in the fur. I think there's also some here as well as around the eye. I found that white AB. So I am really happy with both of, both of these kits. They look really pretty. Um, I have not worked with the newest round drills just yet. I don't know. I don't quite know my my schedule yet so I don't know if I will um this year but I am looking forward to seeing how they work up and I think these two kits are just so pretty they kind of have similar color palettes now that I'm looking at them like this they have lots of purples and yellows and pinks really beautiful super excited for this puffy gator I have not, like I said before, I have not completed a Puffy Gator charted through Diamond Art Club yet. So excited to see how that works up. And I'm becoming a very big fan of Sarah Mustafa. So hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. These are my two Cyber Monday purchases. I do have a few new releases that I need to unbox, but I'm curious if you guys want to see those during my... December videos or should I hold on to them until January when I go back to my regular schedule. I picked those up the weekend after Cyber Monday when they were still having the buy one get one half off sale um, but they're not you know Cyber Monday or Black Friday releases. There were four new releases in one week that I just needed to have. So let me know if you'd like to see those in December sometime or if you guys are okay with me holding on to them until January. And would you want to see them all in unbox in one video or four separate videos? So lots of questions for you guys in the comments today. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that. And also let me know if you picked up anything during Cyber Monday. Hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxings and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.